Today we're going to uh, have a demonstration on what uh, you need to do in order to get the uh, camellia blooms that are big and colorful and ready for a competitive show. Uh, it does not, it, the application that we apply does not necessarily have to go to the shows, but uh, just the landscape plants. But if you're going to compete in the uh, show, Camellia shows, uh, there's one category that uses uh, gibberellic acid for a for blooms that have been treated with that. Uh, we call it a jibbed or a treated category. And the reason for this is that the blooms come early and they come larger generally. And uh, it's uh, the, com the combination of early and large makes them uh, appealing for those of us that really enjoy camellias. Um, it's a fairly simple operation. You will see the um, way that we mix up the jib and that we get it from the uh, American Camellia Society. We could uh, talk more about the reason for, jib for jibbing uh, plants, but it's largely advantageous when it comes to competition. And some of us are competitors, whether it be in blooms or whether it be in sports. We start with the um, with a gibberellum, and we get that from the uh, American Camellia Society, and you'll get information later as to where and how to order it. But in the box comes uh, the gibberellum, which will be in a container like this, and in that same box is a dispenser that will be used later to apply the gibberellum liquid to the bud that's been prepared. So we start that by let's let's start that by opening this, and we're going to pour the water into the cup. This is a quality water. It's not necessarily tap water, but I think tap water tap water probably would uh, do be okay. Now we're going to mix this up a little. We're going to pour it into this glass, we're going to, in order to get our half strength, we'll fill this again, which is almost too much. Okay, there we have the total content that we'll be using. We could have used the full strength, but uh, we've opted to use half strength because we think that's enough gibberellum to do the job when we uh, apply it to the buds. Now let's stir this very good to get it into, into solution. Well, that's probably good enough for the solution, but then we need to filter it to make sure. Well, first though, we need to put the ammonium, ammonia in to, um, to make sure it's clarified. One, two, three. Hold there a minute. We check to see if it becomes clarified. And we're going to filter this because there will be a certain amount of granular material that is that uh, remains after we have uh, put it in the, among, uh, the jib into solution. And uh, the easy way to do that is just take a coffee pot filter because I think most of us drink coffee and we're going to filter it and then we will our residue and we're going to let that filter in and when it filters everything out we should have nothing but the, the liquid that we will use for applying to the buds. I still have a little bit of water, but I think that's probably... Okay, now the next step 
would be to transfer this to a bottle that we will uh, can use for the um, ap application of the uh, jib to the balloon. And this is a size bottle that uh, they is, that is supplied by ACS. So hopefully we can transfer this in this fashion. This will be the first time we've used this particular method. I think it's going to work. That's one. Then uh, we've got enough uh, liquid here that would uh, fill another one of these containers that can be used. Now the, the beauty of these uh, containers that is sent by ACS is that it, is, it allows you to drip, I'm going to just uh, waste a drip here, to waste a, a drop, whoop, two of them. It, uh, that allows you to uh, put a drop in the cup that we will show you in a minute as to how it's, how it's done. So now we have two of those bottles that can be used uh, to jib the blooms. We use the, we had the regular kitchen utensils for the uh, material. That's our final product. This is the way it started. This is the way we're going to be using it. So we'll put this away. Now this is, happens to be one of the uh, application ways, things that you can uh, use as an applicator. It's what we call a, a pig sticker. And most of you won't have it. So uh, it, all you need is saran, a syringe of some sort or a bottle like this with a with an applicator where you can put one drop or preferably a rather small drop into the cup that we show alongside the bud once the growth bud has been flipped off leaving a cup a little little tiny cup in which it will just accommodate a drop of water so that's about the way we get it all set so with this and this we're ready to go to the camellias and uh, do uh, do what we need to do. Okay. Uh, when it comes to jibbing the bloom, that uh, uh, rather exciting because you have to uh, determine those blooms that you think uh, are ready for the uh, gibberellum. So we've got our jib in our pig sticker here, or the whatever device you use to drop a put a drop in. Now we look at a bud like this and we we should have some indication even before we start to identify that this is a treated blood a bud and we normally have a, a paper punch that uh, puts a hole in the leaf and then I'm going to hold the bud rather carefully and you'll notice there's a, a bloom bud and right alongside is a small growth bud I'm going to tweak that off just like that now You'll notice that it left a little uh, sizable pocket there, a drop of jib, and you carefully put it back into space, and it's advantageous to have the bud up and the cup up so that the jib doesn't run down, run off, and if you flick it, you're going to lose it. So be careful when you uh, put it back. Uh, uh, that's about all you all required. Now you wait for about four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, maybe eight weeks and you should have a balloon that is worth uh, exhibiting.